five new Facebook boosted posts features that you definitely need to know about, okay? Um, but before we get into the details of these new features, let's just quickly review what boosted posts are, okay? So basically, boosted posts are a Facebook product that you can purchase that creates more reach for your Facebook page updates. And the way that you do a boosted post is you simply go to a Facebook update on your Facebook page or through Facebook Insights, click on Boost, and then follow the prompts for the amount of money that you want to spend based on the reach. So basically, Facebook will show you, you know, how much do you want to spend, give you different levels for that, and then also how many people will be reached if you spend that amount of money. They used to work like this where really there were very few targeting criteria. It was either fans of the page and their friends or others, okay? So it's kind of like a shotgun. Some of the stuff hits the target, some of the stuff doesn't hit the target, okay? A little messy. Now, Facebook boosted posts are a little bit more like this because you can include criteria like age, gender, location. Interests have been added as well. Now, how does Facebook come up with what they call interests? Well, what they do is they use data that's based on pages that people like, keywords, related topics, apps they use, and ads that they've clicked in the past, okay? So now you can be really accurate with your Facebook boosted posts, which I like for the beginner marketer because they're pretty easy to use. It's a couple of mouse clicks, you pick your dollar amount, and now with these new features, you can spend your ad dollars a little bit more wisely. So let's go over the five new features. Uh, the first one is that you can now target by location, gender, and age. Now this has been a around for a while, uh, but it is an important feature that Facebook has added. Number two, so you can now target by interests. So I've typed in, in this example here, specific interests that I wanna target with this boosted posts. And I can also, uh, save this as an audience. So I've named the audience, I'm just calling it Nonprofit Marketers. And we can also change the run dates, all right? So in the past, you didn't have much control over that, but now what you can do is you can pick one to seven days and you just pick from this drop down menu. And why would this be important? Well, let's say that you have an event that's coming up in three days and you want to boost a couple of posts really quickly because you're busy. You wanna make sure that you just boost the post for three days. You don't want the promotion about the event going beyond the event. That doesn't make any sense, okay? Number five, you can use the advanced Facebook ad features. So from a boosted post, you could use more advanced Facebook ad features like custom audiences based on an email or retargeting ads based on website visits. So you can use more of the advanced features. And what's great about this is that once you click the, the link, use advanced options, you'll be redirected to the Facebook advanced ad tool, okay? Facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash create. That's where you'll be redirected to, but all of the criteria that you have created thus far in the boosted post will be filled in on the advanced ad tool. Now, I'm just gonna go in for a quick demo. So I'm at this Facebook page, Community Music Center of Boston. I scroll down and I can boost the post right here. So if I click on boost post, I get a few options. I can target people who like your page and their friends. That's gonna be pretty broad like that shotgun we talked about earlier. Or we can select people you choose through targeting, which is going to allow you to target again gender, age, interest, location, and finally after you select that, you go to your budget and you select the bucket of dollars that is gonna be appropriate for your goals. You have a few more options here. This is where you can extend the time for the ad. Okay, default is gonna be one day. And then again, you could use advanced options. If I click on this, it's gonna bring me to a new screen where I can add more criteria, okay? We can get into custom audiences and even behaviors. Uh, Facebook's third-party consumer data, we can even add that if we wanted to. So again, this is if we wanna go beyond the targeting options that we get in boosted posts, okay? Now, a couple of tips here. The first thing to do is before you boost any post, it's always a good idea to go to Insights, Facebook Insights, 
and you want to go to your posts area okay once you go to your posts area you want to just scroll down and you want to rank your content by engagement rate so we can just click on engagement click on post clicks and this is going to rearrange all of our content by engagement rate now just to remind everybody what engagement rate is it's this it's the number of people that saw the update the number of people reached that liked commented or shared the update liked the page clicked the, through the link viewed a photo viewed a video shared the update any of those things would count as engagement okay so it's basically the percent and so what that will tell you is really what your best content is your best content will be instantly ranked towards the top of the list. Now these are the posts that you want to think about promoting. The reason why is because if you promote a post that isn't that interesting based on historical proof, people aren't really reacting to it at all and it's down towards the bottom of your list, you're going to get more of the same. More people are just going to look at it and yawn and move on. It's better to go to insights, pick an update from the top 10% that has to do with your event coming up. Now, what's great about photos is that you can actually edit the description. So if you have some image that happens to be performing really well and it doesn't really talk directly about your event, see if you can creatively edit that description to include a link to the event page. So you can just simply click on the update, you know, go to the update page, and then you can simply edit the text on the right-hand side, okay? Uh, now this is, you know, you have to be really careful when you do this. You don't want to suddenly say, hey, come to our event. You want to make a segue that feels natural between the post and how people have reacted to it and your event. You want to connect those two in a way that feels natural. So number one, pick a top performing post. Number two, use your demographic information that's in Insights. So if we go to People, click on People. We want to look at people engaged. The reason why we want to look at people engaged is because these are the people that are actually liking, commenting on your posts and sharing your posts, liking your page, visiting websites, clicking on links, viewing photos, viewing videos. These are people that are engaging with your content in the newsfeed. You want to target your boosted posts towards these people. It's going to be a lot more effective because it's going to target people who are most likely to interact with it. All right, so that is five new Facebook Boosted Post features along with a few tips on getting the most out of Boosted Posts. Talk to you soon. Bye.